Hi, it's Kyle Stahl from Stahl Agronomy, and you might be asking yourself, and at least you should be, why the heck, one, why am I wearing a hoodie on June 12th? Uh, it's because it's 50 some degrees out because it's been raining all morning, for the most part, in most areas at least, not, not necessarily this field, so that's why I'm here. And, and number two, why the heck am I standing in a field of corn that's just coming out of the ground probably a day or so ago? So yeah welcome to 2019 i've got corn uh maybe v5 right now uh eight to ten inches tall and then i've got this field where it's uh was planted about a week ago and then i got stuff that was planted uh, as late as yesterday and even this morning so we're all over the place and and what am i doing in this field and and what am i doing right now when i'm looking at fields what I really want to go over is, is what I'm seeing most in fields right now, what our, our biggest issue in corn is going to be. And, and that really is uh, trying to find um, sidewall compaction. Uh, most of our early corn, our, our corn is, is just, you know, as, as young as it is, we're, we're seeing very, very poor root developments. Uh, the roots are, are not getting out uh, like they should be. And that's going to lead to a lot of issues. You know, we're going to have issues trying to get uh, nitrogen into those plants. We're going to have issues with getting these plants to get through the nodal root switch on time. You know, usually we figure about three to five days. Right now I'm thinking it's going to be almost a week, uh, especially when we get temperature like this and it's raining as I'm doing this video. Um, you know, it's, it's just going to be one of those years. We're, we're going to have a lot of issues with that stuff. Uh, the next thing is going to be uh, if, we, if we can't get this corn to actually branch out, and, and really stand up on its own, we're gonna actually start running into uh, a, a phenomenon we kind of call floppy corn syndrome, where we have poorly developed roots, uh, they're not really bracing themselves, and we'll start gonna see the corn fall over. Uh, not to that stage yet, but at this point, we're seeing a lot of nodal root switch issues, uh, a lot of nutrient issues showing up in fields. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we've lost all our nutrients, um, our nitrogen levels, we ran the models are actually pretty good. We're not really low on nitrogen for the most part. Uh, the nitrogen really hasn't left. It's not gone anywhere. It's still there. Uh, we've lost some of it, but there's still plenty for these plants to actually survive on, uh, but they're just not getting to it. You know, they're just not branching out. They're just trying to get down and get to something and they're having a lot of time or a tough time doing it. So I'm going to show you real quick kind of what I look at and how to diagnose sidewall issues and, and what I'm digging for and what I'm seeing. So I'll catch you there. Okay, so I'm in this cornfield and we're gonna dig up some of the plants and, and really see what they look like. Um, already I'm starting to see uh, this plant here. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are starting to come around the crust. So the easiest thing for me when I'm looking at how crusty a cornfield is is can you push your finger through it uh, the trigger pressure at that at the point where the corn actually comes through the ground typically the amount of pressure on that if you can get your finger through it fairly easily without a lot of like pressure where i'm actually like having a press here it'll make it through it but for the most part this uh this crust is actually pretty hard so you can see why the corn plants are starting to struggle here um, i'm going to dig up one of these yeah which when it's hard like that, it's usually not a good sign. Um, yeah, so these are fairly young, but it, it's going to be really hard to see if there's a lot of sidewall in here from the plants themselves. So I'm going to try to get to another field uh, just the other side of the fence line here that was planted earlier that's a little bit bigger plant, so we'll be able to actually see where that nodal root switch is happening. But in here, the easiest way when it's this young is basically we'll clear all this stuff out and I'll grab my, my metal seed finder and I pull, basically pull on the side of the row and see if I can pull up very easily. And as you can tell, I pull up huge chunks. So really for me, that seed zone is really tight. And this was planted, I know this was planted really wet, so that's kind of why I'm here, but I'll break it up, yeah, I can move through it fairly easily. But when I try to, I, I can barely almost, I can't even almost get through it. So this is a good indication. This is going to be a field we're going to have to watch for sidewall compaction. So I'll move over to the next field and then show you what that looks like. All right, so we're in the next field, right? And this stuff, obviously, uh, we're looking at V3 corn plants, basically, for the most part. And if we're going to have uh, sidewall compaction, it'll really show up in here. I mean, obviously, I'm looking around. 
there, there's huge lumps on the top. Uh, it was definitely worked wet. It was planted wet. Um, so we should be able to see it if we were going to find it. So we'll see how I can get these plants out. But all right. So the first thing I'll look at is the roots, obviously. Um, these are a little bit more developed, uh, much further along than the other one. So this has actually got sidewall compaction pretty bad. Um, the easiest thing is when you're actually looking at this, you can kind of see the trench is basically this way. We've got one root showing off to the side, but on this side, there's absolutely nothing. So for me, it's probably one side that's got the sidewall compaction really bad. Um, I've seen other plants where these roots are all straight down the middle, but there is nothing on this side of the plant. So we'll dig up another one just to make sure we know what we're seeing. And it's just like the other field. I'm having a heck of a time getting the stuff out of the ground even. And we'll see what this one looks like. And basically the same thing. So we've got nothing growing on this side and they're actually getting down a little bit on this side. So it's uh, it's definitely an issue, right? We're gonna start getting, seeing this. If we get remotely dry at all um, in the next week or two, which right today, but it's a, it's a very high likelihood that we're gonna get dry at some point here. So. Yeah, it's gonna be an issue. Um, are we gonna see floppy corn? I don't know. Um, usually that's more of an issue when we get into shallower planting situations. Um, I can actually check the depth on this right now. And these don't look all that deep. Um, yeah, we're at about an inch and a half. Um, so it could be an issue here. Usually when I start getting, you know, around an inch and a quarter or even less, that's when we'll really see it show up um, as far as floppy corn is concerned. There's going to be multiple issues in fields. You're going to start seeing tillage passes show up in fields. Um, you're going to see nitrogen passes. You're going to see any kind of compaction showing up in fields right now. As we get dry, we worked it wet. Um, now it's starting to dry out. These roots are going to start hitting restrictive layers. Um, you'll be able to make out all kinds of patterns. It's going to look really <laughs> just interesting for me at least, but for most guys it's going to be kind of uh, it, it's it's going to be an issue going forward so what do we do right do we put more nitrogen on do we, we pour the coals to this stuff um at some point uh no I, you know we you, you're gonna have to number one i always talk to guys you know we're we're getting to this point we're getting so late in the season let's think about what our actual yield potential is and, and we're gonna have to manage for that potential um putting a ton of nitrogen on isn't going to fix all these issues um, it might make it look greener for a little bit, uh, but at the end of the season, we're, we're still going to deal with this. You know, they're, they're not going to have fully developed root systems potentially. Um, you know, and what else do we do? You know, I've, I've talked to a couple guys about trying to go out and cultivate. Um, and in scenarios where, you know, we're, um, where the, the top three, four inches is fairly dry, that's not really going to help us. But in scenarios like this, where I dig down you know right in the root zone and i can make a ribbon with this stuff and it's a solid basically hard crust on top um, i would say this might actually help uh just a little bit you know and i don't want to be pruning roots everybody said you know you would jump too if you got your toes cut off well yeah i get that um but we're dealing with root structures i mean on these plants the root structure is not going to get cut off as long as we don't get within an inch of the row so running a strip right down the middle is not going to hurt us at all um, i think for the most part that might actually help in some situations especially if it's kind of uneven it's yellow um, we we don't have sidewall but we maybe we do a little bit uh, we're afraid it's not getting to the nitrogen uh, airing out that soil a little bit actually does seem to help um, you know so manage your corn uh, to the yield potentially you think it's going to have uh, now it's starting to pour here just about but manage the corn to your potential um, try to understand what's going on in the field and, and you know alleviate some of the issues we've got but we're never going to be able to fix this stuff you know this stuff is something we're going to have to deal with all year um, this will limit our yield potential at least a little bit maybe a lot in some cases so just realize what's going on out here try to walk fields understand what's going on and, and try to make those management decisions based on actual data what's going on in your field uh, if you think you're short of nitrogen pull a pre citrus nitrate test and, and really check to see what it's doing you know what you got in the soil try running a nitrogen model try to understand 
you know, what potentially has left and what's potentially still there. You know, don't go hog wild and, and look for these magic cures. Um, somebody's always going to be willing to sell you fertilizer. Somebody's always going to be willing to sell you something to actually fix this. Uh, but there's nothing you're going to do to fix this problem. It's like rootworm anymore. If you don't have rootworm corn and then you get rootworm issues, yeah, there's some stuff that you can try. Uh, you can try putting Lord's ban on and some other things. Is it going to fix it? Probably not. Uh, and you're kind of stuck with what you got. You know, you made that decision. It's in the ground. You're, you're kind of stuck. You know, we don't have the furidans anymore. And it's the same thing with nitrogen and everything else. You know, we can put a bunch of inputs into this stuff and really try to pull their coals or pour the coals to it and, and make it come back. But in, in the all likelihood, it, it's really not going to help us a lot here. Um, you know, we want to manage this as what it is. You know, make it, it's really hard to make that decision and, and understand. But um, I think what it is is we've got to get to the point where, you know, in, in any kind of military scenario, you, you get into something and then you make a margin or make a call and, and realize, hey, all right, this is what we're dealing with. You know, you're going to lose some stuff. You're going to cut your losses and get out or you realize where you're at uh, and going backwards is, is worse than going forwards and, and just realize that the outcome might not be 100% what you expected. So just kind of take that into mind. Um, I would walk a lot of fields, understand what's going on out here and then make management decisions based off of what you actually see and what you can actually actually come to realization of what's going on. So anyway, I, I know there's a lot of issues going on. Uh, we don't have a ton of soybeans up yet. But uh, at this point, that's what I would be doing.